I just published a video on me running the oil out of one of these things until it stops running. And then I adjust the valves on it and it starts and runs again. If you guys missed that video, if you want to see it, I'll put a little link up here in the information button for you. As well as at the end of this video, I got some clickable links there for you too, so stay tuned for that. On that video, um, I promised you that I was going to show you how I adjusted the valves, and that's what we're going to do today. Hey guys, welcome back to Steve Small Engine Saloon again. I'm Steve. So yeah, if you did watch that video that I just referred to there, you will see how critical the valve clearances are on one of these things, uh, uh, the valve lash, some people call it. This applies to uh, your GC motors, your horizontal shaft ones, or your GCVs, your vertical shaft ones, the ones that go down on your lawnmower. Horizontal shaft, vertical shaft, makes no difference for what we're doing today with adjusting these valves. Tools that you're gonna need for accomplishing this job is 10 millimeter wrench or a socket. I got one on my impact right here. You're gonna need a big flat screwdriver. Um, taking the spark plug out, spark plug wrench, it's a 1316 spark plug wrench, it's gonna help. Um, you're going to need, for actually doing the valves, you're gonna need a nine millimeter wrench. Yes, this is a Honda. Nine millimeter wrench to do that. If you don't have a nine millimeter wrench, a 13, uh, an 11 30 second wrench does work. It's a little tight, but it will work. It's supposed to be a nine millimeter wrench. And a pair of pliers, a set of feeler gauges, and some gasket making glue here, and uh, some carburetor spray is gonna help too, or brake cleaner. Oh yeah, and you also need a beer. This is going to take you guys um, anywhere in between about one to two beers to accomplish this job, depending on how fast you are. I'm using Sleeman's Original Draft today. Wicked good beer, you guys. So first thing that we need to do is get this valve cover off of here. 10 millimeter wrench or socket. I'm gonna burn these 10 mil uh, out right now. Now, you're gonna see that once you get those four bolts out of there, you can't just pull that cover off. It's glued down. I don't know why Honda doesn't make a gasket. They don't use a gasket to put that down. They use this, this uh, gasket making, making sealant to glue that down. Um, they call it Honda Bond. We're going to get a little bit more into that after in a minute. But it's glued down. We need to pry this thing off. Get that flat screwdriver under there and start prying it sideways like this, and all of a sudden you're gonna start hearing that, that uh, silicone, that gasket making material start ripping and stretching and tearing, and just keep prying on that corner until you can literally just pull that cover right off like that. Now we got the cover off. Now we can adjust the valves. I'm gonna take the spark plug out. You don't have to take the spark plug out of this thing it just does make it a little bit easier because we have to turn the engine over now to get it to top dead center. It's a lot easier if you have to plug out no compression. If you see this cam wheel right here, this is the lobe of that cam wheel. There's a clearly a pointy end on that thing. We need to have that pointy end sticking straight up in the air, straight up. That's top dead center. So just pull your engine over until you get that at top dead center. And you can actually even just take your fingers like this and just wiggle it back and forth to get it perfectly up in the air like that. Now that's at top dead center, we can adjust the valves. We need your feeler gauges. We need your nine millimeter wrench and a pair of pliers. 
If you guys don't have any feeler gauges, by the way, you got to see, you guys want to see the feeler gauges I'm using. I got a link on my description um, on this video that'll take you to a place where you can see some feeler gauges if you want to check them out or if you want to buy some. Specs for these things. Intake valve on this one is six thousandths of an inch. The exhaust valve is eight thousandths of an inch. Easy way to remember this, you guys, if you're confused with which one of those it is. Easy. The intake valve is the one that's closest to your carburetor. The exhaust valve is the one that's closest to your muffler. Nice and simple. If you guys want to see the valve clearances for all these Honda engines, go back to my website, stevesmallenginesaloon.com. I got a link up here for you in the I button too, to quick link to get you back there. I got a tab at the top of my website called Documents. Go to that one. Click on the one that says uh, valve clearances for Honda engines and you can see all of them for all of these Honda engines. So what I do now is I just set that uh, feeler gauge in there like that and then I take my nine millimeter wrench and I just loosen this jam nut off like this. Loosen that off and now you will see that you can take a pair of pliers and grab that center pin right there and turn that back and forth and that's what's actually setting your valve that's going to pinch your feeler gauge in there turn that in and until it's just turned in enough so it's just slightly pinching your feeler gauge so you got your slight resistance just like that now leave that there if you like and just hold that with your pliers Take your nine millimeter wrench and now tighten that jam nut up again without moving your pliers. They, it doesn't need to be that tight. It just needs to be nice and snug so that center pin thing there can't move anymore. And once you do that, just run that feeler gauge again. If it feels a little loose or if it feels a little tight to you, easy, just do it again. Just pull that jam nut off and do it again until you get that final result there of uh, of that uh, slight resistance. Same thing on the exhaust side. Now we just switch, we go to our next feeler gauge, which is uh, eight thousandths of an inch. And we put that in there, like that. And we do the same thing. Nine millimeter wrench, pliers, and just do that. Now, getting this cover back on. You can see now that you got the cover off, you're gonna see a little bit of that silicone Honda Bond glue around there, and it's gonna be covered in oil. And then you look at your cover like that too, and it's gonna have a little bit of oil residue on there too. All you wanna do here is just clean the oil residue off of there so, you, so that your new gasket material is gonna stick on there. It's not gonna to stick to the oil. If you try it, you take a little bit of that new gasket sealer on there and you wipe it on there, it just wipes off. It, does, it, it literally will not stick because of the oil. So what you want to do is just take a rag and a little bit of uh, uh, car, uh, carb spray or brake cleaner. It actually works a little bit better in this case. And just take your rag like that, spray a little bit on your rag, and then just wipe that off. Wipe the oil off. And just keep wiping that off till you know that there's no oil left on there. Do that on your cover and also on the machine where that seats together. Once you can clearly see that there's no uh, oil residue on there now, we just want to add a little bit of, uh, of new gasket sealer to that. Cover that whole thing. Now I know that I'm not using actual Honda Bond product on this. I'm just using a blue Permatex on here. Um, if you guys want to actually check that out, I got a video, I, I got a, a link in my description again to, so you can actually buy true Honda Bond. Um, it's not very expensive. Go back and check that link out too if you like. Now we got a nice thin layer on there. And now set that back on there now. Go ahead and do that. Follow the directions on the bottle, whatever that stuff you're, whatever you're using. Follow the directions on that. And then you got your four bolts once you're done that. And uh, zip those four bolts back in and tighten them down. 
and you just adjusted the valves absolutely perfectly on your GC Honda general purpose engine and also your lawnmower maybe. So I hope you guys liked that video. I promised you I was going to do it, so I just did it. Um, Sleeman's original draft, guys. Got to check that out. I know it might be hard for some of you guys to find, but it's one of my favorite beers ever. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Give me that like button. Give me that thumbs up button. Share this video with your friends. There's millions of you guys out here. General maintenance on this thing, man. Sleeman's. Steve out.